there's a handful of people that do remember Charlie and Lola, aired back in the day on Playhouse Disney. And I do understand that many don't know what this show is about, so hopefully this iceberg will be helpful. Credits for this iceberg goes to Hello, It's Me on Iceberg Charts. A link will be provided in the description below. And with that, this is the Charlie and Lola iceberg. Series 1 Also known as Season 1, Charlie and Lola aired back on 2005. With episodes starting with, But I'll Never Eat a Tomato, and But I Am an Alligator. So every episode, Charlie opens up with, she is small and very funny, and Lola gets into situations that she causes, whether it's running out of money that she borrowed from Charlie's, or forgetting her suitcase when having a sleepover. When these situations happen, Charlie usually ends up having to solve her problems, whether it's in an imaginative way or creative methods. In the episode, I will never eat a tomato, which by the way is peak nostalgia, Charlie would rename the foods into fantasy names so she'll eat them. She ends up liking tomatoes, but in later episodes, she does not like them at all. I honestly have to give them props for sticking to continuity. Book series. So many are familiar with the TV show, but many, I included, um, were not aware of the book series, which that's how they got their start. Created by the English writer and illustrator Lauren Child in 2000. They were introduced in a series of picture books and later adapted as a TV show. Lola is energetic and loves to use her imagination. Charlie is her kind and patient older brother who is willing to help Lola. The series' first book, I Will Never Eat a Tomato, published by Orchard Books in 2000. The US edition was published in the same year by Candlewick Press with the title, I Will Never Not Ever Eat a Tomato. That first book in the series, Lauren Child won the 2000 Kate Greenway All Medal Trophy from the Library Association and was also recognized for the year's best children's book illustration. Series 2 Season 2 aired from 2006 to 2007, with starring episodes such as It is not completely messy and too many big words, which this season also includes a special episode called How many more minutes until Christmas? And many episodes that I loved as a child are in this season. Playhouse Disney so, like how I mentioned before, many know this series because of Playhouse Disney, before it switched over to Disney Junior. The show aired from 2005 to April 24, 2008. Many other shows that Playhouse Disney offered are pretty obscure. CBBS. So, I do remember this program too, uh, if I remember correctly. So, CBBS is a British to free air public broadcast children's television channel owned and operated by BBC. CBB's first launched on February 11, 2002, and many would remember Teletubbies, Binka, Step Inside, and Bits and Bobs, and along was also Charlie and Lola. And this was an international network, so I got to see the Spanish version of CBB's. The theme song. This one's pretty straightforward, as it just means the theme song, and many do remember this theme song, um, but not the show, so... And to be honest, this is a really cool theme song. Uh, I personally enjoy it, I don't know about y'all, so yeah. And it really captures the energy of the show. Lauren Child So like how I mentioned before with the series and the book series, Lauren Child is a children's author and illustrator, mostly known for her works on Charlie and Lola. I remember in one of the DVDs I used to have, uh, there was a little bit of an interview with her, but I'm sure you can find it on YouTube. And a bit of a side check here, she is one of my main inspirations. Tiger Aspect So Tiger Aspect is a production company, founded in 1988 by Peter Bennett Jones, and their headquarters is in the UK. So what does this have to do with Charlie and Lola? Well, they produced it, alongside with some TV shows and movies. Toys I'm also going to include merchandise as well, as there's plenty of uh, Charlie and Lola merchandise that I was not really aware of. So one of the things that I found were these plush toys and these figurine type ones as well. They surprisingly also had a sizzles one as well, which is, that is really rare to see. So unfortunately I couldn't find the figurine ones as I only found the plush ones on eBay, but um, they are not cheap. Also this balancing game, which that looks pretty cool. And the rest of the merchandise is just DVDs and books. Charlie's Broken. So I was a little bit confused on to why this was in the iceberg. 
but this episode revolves around Charlie and Lola making a circus for their grandparents. But when Charlie plays soccer with Marv, he ends up getting injured. Now, looking this up on YouTube, I am greeted with the actual episode, but some other weird things. Um, I'm not entirely sure why this episode's on this list, but if anyone knows, let me know. Series 3 So, Series 3, also known as Season 3, was the third and final season for the show. The final episodes would air from 2007 to 2008. Everything is different and not the same. Would be a special episode. Then finally ending it with, I've got nobody to play with, which is kind of eerie. Storyboard So, in case if you don't know what a storyboard is, it's a sequence of drawings, typically with some directions and dialogue, representing a short planned out for a movie or show. Which I was really happy to see, uh, but apparently I think some are lost due to time, which is really sad to see because some of these are pretty cool. It wasn't me. So this episode revolves around Charlie, who won a uh, first place by making a rocket, and um, it means a lot to him, so he leaves Lola alone with her imaginary friend, they play, and the rocket slips out of Lola's hand. And uh, Charlie is very upset, and I'm going to be honest, the scene where he like finds out like his rocket is destroyed freaked me out so bad. It kind of took me back rewatching it. <laughs> But yeah, this is one of the more popular episodes that people remember. Okay, I have to edit this in, but I know later on the iceberg I say that uh, I think some of the episodes on this iceberg specifically are the most popular ones, which I just want to clarify that in the later entries as we go forward with this iceberg. Soren Lawrenson. So Soren Lawrenson is the imaginary friend of Lola. Soren Lawrenson does appear in some episodes, but not all of them. Also, here's my favorite scene from Soren Lawrence, and it's just hilarious. Soren Lawrence really wants to say sorry for breaking your rocket, Charlie. But when Soren Lawrence does appear, he often gives advice to Lola and tries to help her out in a situation, or plays along with her imagination. But yeah, anyways, uh, later on this iceberg, uh, we will get into other things that people uh, speculate about Soren Lawrence. So, a bit of a sidetrack here, but I actually got inspired to, like, have my own imaginary friend when I was a kid, so, yeah. Thank you, Soren Lawrenson. It totally wasn't a copy of Soren Lawrenson. Help, I really mean it. So, when looking this episode on YouTube, I did encounter the actual episode and some other weird things, and a Go Animate one, too. Okay, um... But I'm starting to think like some of the episodes that are on this iceberg are pretty well known ones, I want to say. Um, you can leave a comment down below if you have any other thoughts. This episode's basically a boy who cried wolf situation. With Lola taking care of Casper the cat and eventually gets stuck in a tree. Charlie and Lola fandom wiki. So this entry pretty much speaks for itself as every fandom has a fandom wiki, even the ones you least expect. Um, but yeah, I found myself using this Wikipedia for uh, this video, so shout out to the Wikipedia. Scottish Gaelic dub. So this was a dub, obviously, of the series Charlie and Lola, which first began to air back on BBC Two Scotland on November 13, 2007, at 8.30am BST. The show would later air on on BBC Alba on September 29, 2008, at 8.40am BST also. The best is in the barn. Alright, so Best It's in the Barn, which I wasn't aware of previously up until making this iceberg, uh, it's a little music video about Charlie and, no not Charlie, Lola and Lota, I think that's how you say her name, having a barn and talking about a chicken that's the best in the barn. It's pretty cute to be honest. And not only a chicken they teach how to sing, dance, and play an instrument, but also all the animals in the farm, so yeah, that's cute. I will not ever never forget you, Nibbles. So this episode's pretty sad, as Nibbles is a little mouse that both Charlie and Lola take care of. Eventually, however, it dies, and um, Lola and Charlie have to deal with the aftermath of Nibbles. Where are Charlie and Lola's parents? Now, in a lot of media, there tends to be um, no parents or any type of guardian present in um, a lot of TV shows in general. Um, I don't think it's anything, like, super deep or anything. I guess it's just, like, uh, kind of just, like, not not really important to, like, the story or the show. We do hear Charlie and Lola mention them, however, um, but that's all we get from them. And especially, uh, Charlie's friend Marv or Lata, we just only, like, hear about them. 
Charlie and Lola and South Park similarities. So as someone who loves South Park and grew up on Charlie and Lola, I can definitely see the similarities in the art style, which is a very like paper cu- like paper cutout type style, which um, I don't know if this show is influenced by South Park in terms of the art style, but who knows? Relatable Charlie and Lola TikTok account. So I was really happy to find this account on TikTok. I was really worried I wouldn't be able to find it for some reason. Um, but yeah, this is basically Charlie and Lola uh, clips with captions of relatable things. <laughs> so yeah, I found myself watching a few of these. So if you want to go check that out, you can. Lola Sonner and Lola Loud similarities. So I don't watch The Loud House anymore, but I can definitely recall some similarities between these two. Um, first the name, and their hair color, and a bit of their personality as well, so I can definitely see where people are coming from. I think it would be cool to see that they got inspired off her. Lola was based on a little Danish girl. This entry pretty much talks about how Lola and many of the other characters were inspired throughout Lauren Schott's life. I really recommend checking this out, it is quite a heavy read, but all of it will be in the description down below. It also goes more in depth about the art style throughout the show and in the books. Fan art. So I pray that I did not find any disturbing art, and for the most part, I didn't. Luckily there is a handful of wholesome art, which we love to see, I'm only putting wholesome fan art so don't worry, for the sake of my own sanity, and for the sake of your own sanity. Nibbles was the only character who died in the entire show. So when I read this entry on the iceberg, I was like, dang, you're right. I mean this series is pretty short lived, but that's pretty disturbing to know that Nibbles was the only character that died in the entire show. So. Yeah, R.I.P. Nibbles, he was cute. Why are the adults never shown? So this entry is pretty similar to Where Are Charlie and Lola's Parents? Now, like how I mentioned before, uh, uh, it's just pretty much not really needed in a show or movie for the parents to be present. Now, they are not dead, let's not go there, because they do mention them in the series whenever they need help or whenever they're going to school or an event. Series 4 so I swore there were only like three seasons of this show, so when I looked up series 4, I was greeted with an Amazon link for the DVD, so I'm confused on to how many seasons are there because when I when I look up how many seasons there are of this show, it only says three, so apparently there are five seasons now. American dub. So I did not know about this, well kind of because in the DVDs, there were like these clips of the characters talking into a mic in a studio, which were, uh, they were like doing the American dub, which um, this lady on the other end would tell them like the American version of something. Also, um, I didn't grow up on the American dub one, I just grew up with the regular version. I think everyone else did, unless I'm mistaking it wrong. But yeah, I looked everywhere else and I couldn't find the American dub one, so yeah. Charlie and Lola, the movie. So obviously there wasn't a movie sadly, um, but I did find some fan made trailers online and um, some other things as well. Uh, the only thing closest to a movie we ever got was the Christmas special, so yeah there's that. I can definitely see this series having a movie, um, I don't know if we will get one in the future or not, but yeah. People are mistaking Charlie as a girl. So there is a handful of people that thought that Charlie was the older sister of Lola. Um, so, I, I always thought he was like the older brother, but yeah, um, that happens. <laughs> Mr. Bean and Tom and Jerry in an outtake. Like I mentioned before in this iceberg, there are a couple of outtakes with the main characters. One of these being with Lola, which she mentions uh, Tom and Jerry and Mr. Bean, which I find that hilarious to be honest, but yeah, here's the clip. All beige together, and then you get to watch Mr. Bean. But if you, if no, you're not Mr. Around, Bean. Oh, you don't want to watch Mr. Bean. The other. Okay. Tom we'll get and to... Jay, Volume Four. Okay. Well, let's watch Tom and Jay, Volume Four. But if you just concentrate. Like... Lola mentioned an episode before it released. So I did not know about this up until now, but yeah, I think that's pretty cool. So that's gonna take a while for me to find, and hopefully the Wikipedia has it. Are Charlie and Marv gay? So just to clarify with everyone, uh, Charlie and Marv and the majority of the cast actually are minors, so 
I don't like shipping minors and shipping in general in fandoms, because it's just a complete mess. But yeah, there's a fandom for everything. Charlie, voice actor, arrest rumor. Crying over the fact that Charlie from Charlie and Lola is a literal murderer. Um, no, he wasn't. No joke, this is actually him. I had this little sister Lola. <laughs> she is small and very funny. <laughs> Charlie and Lola and Clarice Bean are in the same universe. Clarice Bean is a separate project from Charlie and Lola, despite it having a similar art style. Many do think Clarice Bean is in the same universe as them because of the art style, and some even go as far as to say it's Lola. So, I didn't know about Clarice Bean up until making this video, so if you know about Clarice Bean, or if you grew up with it, shout out to you. Where was Tickles the Mouse after I will not ever never forget you, Nibbles? So, in the end of the episode, I'll never ever forget you, Nibbles, Charlie and Lola end up getting a new mouse named Tickles, but we never see Tickles after this episode, which is kind of weird and disturbing. I'm pretty sure he passed away at some point. Charlie and Lola's extremely new play puppets. So this was a live play using like these big cutout puppets um, back I want to say in 2014. So the only footage that I was able to find for this entry was for a promotional video for the event, but the event itself I couldn't find anything. However, I was able to find still images of the event. But if anyone knows more about this event or has any knowledge about it, then you can let me know because I feel like this is like a Pokemon Live sort of thing. Unaired Pilot So when looking up the unaired pilot of Charlie and Lola, you're greeted with the I'll Never Ever Eat a Tomato episode, which is also the first episode of the series. This is all I can find for this entry as you know how Lost Media is and their pilots. They love a good Lost Pilot, but this is all I could pretty much find for this entry. Marty Low. So I don't know why this entry puts Marty this low into the iceberg since he is one of the main characters and is Charlie's best friend. And like how I mentioned before in this iceberg, he does get shipped with Charlie as well. So yeah, uh, I don't know what else to say about Marty, but he is an often reoccurring character in the series and has a dog named Sizzles, which he is cute. Batman and Batcat similarities. Batcat is obviously a reference to Batman, which uh, does Batman things, so yeah, I think it's pretty cute and it gets uh, referenced a lot throughout the series. This one's pretty easy to see and um, I think it's pretty cute how, uh, because you also have Catwoman as well, so it's kind of like a combination of Batman and Catwoman, which again is pretty cool to see. We never saw Charlie and Lola as babies. So the closest thing that we ever got to this was in an episode titled, I Wish I Was More Taller Than You, which the roles are reversed as Lola is the bigger sister and Charlie is the little brother. But throughout the series, we never see them as babies in flashbacks or even pictures on the walls that they have. Charlie and Lola, YouTube spoof. So as much as I tried to look for this uh, spoof, I could not find it. I only found like an animated version of it, but uh, yeah, I was expecting more like a a uh, Blue's Clues type spoof like from way back in the day. Props to you if you remember it. I don't know if this got taken down at some point, but that's all I can pretty much find for this entry. Where was Morden before series 2? So Morden is a reoccurring character and is Lola's new best friend. And um, I don't, I don't know to be honest. Maybe he just wasn't, I guess, not in the house or in the flat like they call it. So, I guess when it was ever convenient for them to put him in the series. Are Charlie and Lola's grandparents dead? I don't think they're dead. I just think they just only show up when Charlie and Lola are gonna go visit them, but that's pretty dark if they're dead. But following the same thing as with the parents that they don't show up, I guess that also refers to them being dead somehow. Thankfully, I didn't find no weird creepypasta saying that they're dead. Did Charlie and Lola have an unborn sibling? But to summarize, Charlie and Lola go to this park, they end up playing a game, and Lola gets lost, she falls into like this hole, Charlie go gets his parents to look for her, her mom uh, finds, finds Lola, and um, Lola's mom was pregnant at the time and she sadly ended up losing the baby, and Lola, this is where she meets Soren Lawrenson, asks him for help, and they suddenly end up at their new apartment. And this is where they end up meeting their new friends, and the reason that they moved was because of the memories that 
Charlie and Lola's parents had. <sighs> this is just one of many. For as much as I tried to look up for this entry, I didn't find anything. I don't know if later on um, I look it up and it's there. I might give an update, but yeah. If you know what this is, let me know down in the comments. It's just a really bad creepypasta. It's not worth reading it, and somehow Aqua Teen Hunger Force makes an appearance in that. It doesn't make any sense. Moving on. Is Sizzles dead? Sizzles is Marv's dog, which apparently is a dog sound, so that's pretty cute. What's not cute is this entry in the iceberg, which... Um, I'm pretty sure he appears for, like, most of the series, more than Casper, actually, or any pet in the series, actually, so, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know, I don't know if he just stops appearing in the series or what, but that's all I can really find. Did Casper the Cat die? So, Casper the Cat is Charlie and Lola's grandparents' cat. Um, I don't know why they think Casper's dead, um... Maybe he just stops showing up in the series, as, um, again, the series is pretty short, so I don't think he's dead. I'm, I hope he's okay, but yeah, that's all I can pretty much find. Boo made you jump alternative ending. Do not research. Alright, so, um, I was really scared if, like, I was gonna get some sort of virus or, so or something, because I've seen YouTubers, when they, like, research something that says do not research, uh, they end up getting a virus, and if I got a virus on my iPad, that would be the end of my YouTube channel. Just kidding. No, I'd still keep going. But anyways, um, my first thing to look up was on YouTube, um, but I didn't find anything, only the regular episode without the alternative ending. So I ended up going on Google, and I found myself the image. Luckily, it's just a still image, not a video. Thank God. I, I hope so, unless one of y'all know if it's a video and I just can't find it or it was just taken down at some point. Uh, I'd really appreciate you letting me know. And with that, we've reached the end of the iceberg. Thank you all so much for watching this video. If I sound stuffy, it's because I am sick and I needed to get this video done as soon as possible. But again, thank you so much uh, for watching and I'll see y'all in the next video. Also, my AirPods died and I don't know where the charger went, so I'm recording this without the AirPods as the mic. So anyways, bye y'all.